Have you guys ever been in a Modern Warfare game, a Warzone game, or a Black Ops Cold War game and thought to yourself, man, I wish I was just a little bit better at sniping. You just don't hit those snipes, you're so close. Well, lucky for you guys, in this video, I will help you become a better sniper, and all it takes is practice. So, first off, what's going on guys, Tits here, welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you, in my opinion, one of the best tips ever to become a better sniper in Warzone, Modern Warfare, or Black Ops Cold War, because I'm assuming you can do it in Cold War as well. So all you're going to do is go to Modern Warfare, because it's the one I've been working on the most, just because I've been using the Car 90 AK the most in uh, Warzone. So you're going to start up a private match. Go to the game settings. You're going to want to set up bots. So I have it on 11 bots just because it's the max. I just like to have as many guys as I can. Game rules. You're not going to mess with anything else. You can mess with the time if you want. Just go unlimited, whatever, right? Just whatever you want to set it up. It's just going to be a practice match, a warm-up to your Warzone game. Or whatever you're playing online. You're going to go to gameplay. Put it on headshots only. That's the only way you can get a kill. So it's going to train you to aim for the head. Because especially if you're using the Car 90 AK, it's one-shot headshot. So I'm just going to load the game up on Rust. Just to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so now that you're in a game... You're just gonna go ham and go practice. So aim for headshots. Oh, I'm getting gas bombed right now. And I died, dude. Great. Now, if you're like me, I'm not like a, a crazy quick scoper. I don't hit the crazy snipes. I like being precise, taking my time, getting that kill. But you know, this helps as well, because it's still, you know, you can take your time. It's a lot quicker, I guess, cause, but if you run a bigger map, it'd be a lot easier to take your time. But this is, I like fast pace too, like with a warm up, you know. Getting my snipes in, getting ready to get those war zone kills. So this is a perfect little warm up. Ooh. Not the best, not the best though. I'm not saying I'm the best though. But I just want to show you guys. Give this tip. Shout out to my brother, he's the one that gave me this idea. And I've done it a few times, and I'm not gonna lie, it works. It really does work. There we go, we'll get a little spree going and then we'll hop over to Cold War. See if it works Cold War. Ah. Uh. Changing back. There it is, there it is. Oh, greasy. Enemy the Ooh, some time, but you guys get it down. Alright. So yeah, that's, that's, that's my tip for Modern Warfare. And Warzone, I guess, because they're kind of the same. So just hop into a private game. Put on the bots, put on headshots only, pull out your sniper, and just practice getting those headshots. You can keep practice quick scoping, whatever you want to practice, you know. This is the best way to do it in my opinion. So let's hop over to Cold War now, and we'll check out if it works in Cold War. So now that you're on Cold War, you're going to go down to Custom Games. And then you're going to go to Bots and Players, Add Bots. So you're going to have to, this is the, the easiest way I figured it out for Team Deathmatch. You're going to add all these bots. And then you're going to go to move players and hit the X button if you're on Xbox, square if you're on PlayStation. And kick the players that you added that are blue. And then it just leaves you and six other players. I haven't found a way to do it like Modern Warfare where you can have 11 people and uh, 11 bots, I, sorry, and then just yourself. Six is the max that I have found so far. If anyone knows any other ways, let me know down below in the comments. So after you do that, you go to game rules, settings, player, health and damage. Headshots only enabled and then it's gonna ask you to save it save save and then you can start a game So we'll start a game real quick Okay, so now that you're in a game like I said in modern warfare All you're gonna do is just practice doing oh, a little bit of a lag practice doing headshots We'll get a little run going here, and then I'll finish her out. I just want to show you It's good practice though. Like I haven't been playing much Cold War personally so this would be perfect for me before I hop into any games online, just to get a little practice. If I plan on using the snipers, mind you. Yeah, buddy. Oh, triple. Double? So this is literally all you do. And obviously you can change the difficulty of the bots. Because look, these guys are just standing here looking at me. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty easy. If you're a quick scoper, this is good practice for quick scoping. You could just put on headshots, take off headshots only. But me, like I said, I play a lot of Warzone, so I like to go for the headshots with the car 98k. So that's why I put on the headshots only. Working on my headshots, the quickness of my headshots. Line it up, baby. 
Line it up, baby. 15 kill streak, I'm going till I die. I wonder if I could have gotten like multiples there. Is that two? I can't believe they can't kill me. I'm not gonna lie. I know the little difficulty is pretty low, but. Satisfying for anybody else. Tango removed. Come on now, there it is. Alright, well, I think I'll just end it here because. Doesn't seem like I'm gonna die anytime. Oh wow, look at that. Cool. Alright, well there you go guys. That's gonna be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, if you did, like the video, comment down below if this works for you or if you have any other tips or if you, if you can figure out how to add more than six players in Cold War, let me know. And subscribe to the channel. We're on the way to 200 subs. It'd be greatly appreciated. I hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.